G'day legends, it's Robbie and Luke from Axon Property Group. Hope you're having a fantastic day. There's a reason why, buddy, we got something in our hot little hand. There is literally something hot off the press. Guess what, the government's just announced some very, very long awaited and amazing news as far as Doha's go. So just give me 30 seconds of your time. Luke and I are gonna go through some things right now. So it's a $46.2 million investment, which is gonna help the defense community, you, go ahead and buy your own home so much quicker. They understand the pressures as far as cost of living goes, as far as the home ownership, that you know the great Australian dream's getting harder and harder. The minister also acknowledges that they're struggling with the cost of housing, and that obviously the defense community are not immune to that. This is why they've expanded Doha's. Please listen to Luke right now, he's gonna go through the tech data. Thanks for summing that up for us, RT, and giving us a snapshot of where we currently stand in the market and what the government is doing. Now, I just wanna take you through some of the changes. Bottom line up front, hold your horses. This is not everybody that's ever served in defense. You need to have served on or after the 1st of July, 2008. Meaning if you got in before then and got out before then, you're not accessible to this scheme, unfortunately. Mm. It is a step in the right direction, but it hasn't opened it up to everyone, unfortunately. But there are, you know, we are making good, good, good headway. So Luke, you, a young soldier, sailor or had to serve four years before they could get access to Doha's. What's it now? Mate, this is one of the good changes that is taking place. They've halved that minimum service requirement down from four years down to two. So you now only have to have served a minimum of two years service to be able to access tier one of the Doha scheme. What if I was just a reservist? What, what changes have come into effect there? So again, they've halved that scheme as well. They've halved the time period for that scheme as well. So down from eight years, all the way down to four years service, effective service, to be able to access that tier one. So just bringing it forward, people are gonna get access to this much sooner now. Absolutely, it's opened up that scope of, of support mm. that, that you know service members and their families are able to get access to. So good, you and I have coached a heap of clients even this year, yeah. like, I've only done three years, I've got to wait another year until I get my Doha certificate. But yeah, like you're in the game straight away, ladies and gents, this is key information, mate. I'm loving this. It Keep is, going, please. It is so good. It's, it's, it's fantastic. One of the other big changes that's taken effect is when, when Doha was brought into to effect way back in 2008, you had to have accessed your, your entitlement no longer than two years out after you left. Mm. So, if you, so if you severed your service, you had only two years to be able to access that. Like a ticking, ticking clock. Like bang, a ticking bang, clock. Two that years, two down. years. Get it, done, get it done. Get it done. Feeling rush. Feeling rush. I believe it went to five. It did. So they they reviewed that and said, "Hey, we're missing we're missing the trick here. People still people have still served their nation and they deserve to be supported over a longer period of time." One of the great things that they've brought in with this new announcement is that that now, that time limit now ceases to exist. Right. So you don't have to have used your, your uh, entitlement within that five year period. So good. It's fantastic. Maybe I can still get access to it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what I want to do now just quickly is I want to go over and give you give an understanding of where we are, a snapshot right now of the subsidies that currently exist in play. There will be updates to these obviously as we move forward and, and with effect of the, the 1st of January next year. Of course, if I can just caveat quickly, we looked at some numbers before. What we saw in like July this year, T1 was about 400 bucks a month. Now T1 is 600 bucks a month as interest rates go up, the subsidy goes up. So this is a moving target, ladies and gents. We're now speaking to you basically on the first day of December, 2022. T1 is a maximum loan of $402,000 a year. In your skyrocket, you'll receive $445 a month, which equates to over $5,300 a year. Tier two is $603,000 maximum loan with a $667 a month subsidy, which equates to, of course, over $8,000 a year. And then, then tier three, which is that maximum threshold that we've reached, is a loan of $804,000, which is a $890 a month subsidy, which of course equates to over $10,700 a year back in your pocket. Now here's the thing, like 12 months ago when interest rates were super low, even if you were on tier three, it was only like five grand a year. I'm like, you know what? The tail doesn't wag the dog. You're not gonna go and buy your own home in a shit location. That's a technical term for it's not going down in value to access five grand. Now you can access 10 grand. Mm, I guess it's going to open up the thought patterns a little bit more and I guess expand some of the opportunities for why Axon exists to help the defence community secure your financial future using property. So this is an amazing initiative, mate. I'm really stoked about this. Well, one of the things I'm really excited about, and I just want to reiterate when you're talking about that, you know, having Axon and having your Axons operating right for you, is having that team behind you. You sitting there watching this right now, you can't, you can't possibly put in the hours per day that we have, you know, our team living and breathing this to make sure that we're getting you the most contemporary information, you know, hot off the press for you to make your informed decisions. Love it. Final piece from me, 
one of the key things about having the old dough has is that if you serve less than 20 years in your career, what do you do? 18 and a half? Yeah. This yeah. would have, been, yeah, would have applied short, yeah. to you. A bit over 20 for me. But if you don't do 20 years, you revert back to tier one straight away. What's not included in these papers is clarity on that. So just stay tuned. As soon as we know what's going on with sort of the, the further bits and pieces about what this new awesome government policy is, we'll let you know straight away. But the bottom line is, buddy, more people are going to be able to buy their own home sooner. He's got a fuck shoulder. That's why we did the low five, <laughs> not the high five. See you guys soon.